Hey, what's up? Are you a GRC governance, risk, and compliance cybersecurity practitioner drowning in information overload? Are you struggling to keep up with the latest cybersecurity news for budget requests or user awareness training, especially those just-in-time awareness trainings? Well, I've got you covered. I'm Dr. Gerald Dozier from Simply Cyber, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that I made that's absolutely free that can be used to manage this problem and help drive cyber risk reduction for your business stakeholders. You're gonna love it. So I wrote this tool, grcassist.py. It's a Python script that automates searching for relevant cybersecurity news articles using the newsdata.io's API. And because you can customize what the keywords it is searching for, for yourself, it will be generating results that are specifically important to you and the business that you work in. Now, newsdata.io is a platform that provides access to news articles from various sources through API interfaces. And this allows our script to search for specific topics and filter results. Now stay tuned because I'm going to show you a tech demo of the tool in a minute. The benefits of using my tool versus just Googling things is it'll save you time by automating the searches and allow you to focus on relevant cybersecurity news for your needs. And it streamlines gathering this information for budget requests or user training by collecting it in one single source. On top of that, you can slowly begin to build a knowledge base or archive of relevant news stories for yourself. If you need something for budget requests, you can go into your library and just pull up all the stories and you'll have access to those. Or if you just got a call like, hey, you know what? That meeting you were supposed to have next week with the executives, they're gonna be going on vacation next week or whatever. You got 15 minutes. This tool will allow you to pull down news stories that happened within the last week or a couple weeks or even today and be able to nail it for your specific industry or your specific vertical, really, really tied into you and be able to bring that information directly into a meeting. Take it, basically push it onto a PowerPoint or slide deck or something like that and go into that meeting with confidence knowing, hey, this is something that just happened to somebody else in our industry. I'll give you a perfect example. Third-party risk. Data breaches are happening all over the place right now and third-party risk is a real thing. Well, you might have a challenge trying to convince your organization to do data governance, right? Or put multi-factor authentication on or require multi-factor of your third parties. Well, wouldn't it be great to walk into a meeting with three examples of businesses that are operating within your own industry that suffered a data breach. I'm talking front page smack, all sorts of ugliness and walking in and being like, hey, it's my job to advise you. I don't want to be on the front page of the news. Our three competitors are all on the front page. Do you want to do this? Here is an opportunity. It really drives home instead of having a generic example of we shouldn't do this because it's bad to pointing a finger to an exact exploitation of that weakness and not having to feel that burn by yourself. Now, this tool is for anyone involved in GRC, including obviously cybersecurity professionals, but risk management specialists, compliance officers, auditors might be able to use this. So building a repository of relevant news to support budget requests for security investments is just one use case. You can also use it to stay informed about emerging threats to educate end users on cybersecurity best practices. You can use it to prepare for security audits by demonstrating awareness of current industry trends. You can use it to crush a job interview when you've got a whole bunch of stories that are relevant to whatever industry you're about to walk into a job interview. That's a massive value. Now, I do want to point out this isn't to replace Simply Cyber's daily cyber threat briefing that happens every single weekday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time, but I digress. This program that I wrote has a major value proposition too. It will allow you to focus on efficiency and time saving. I know I would be sick of spending hours manually searching for news. Relatively speaking, I know numerous times where I remember seeing a story and I remember wanting to pull that story and I couldn't because I couldn't remember the exact details and whatnot. This is going to be capturing it in a knowledge base. The script itself automates the process, giving you back your valuable time and allowing you to focus on your core tasks. On top of that, it will allow you to focus on relevancy to your specific situation. You customize your search by keyword, ensuring that you get the cybersecurity news that's relevant to you. 
right? Now, it will also allow you to focus on ease of use. No coding expertise required, no programming. I've done it all for you. The provided script and instructions in the script allow you to literally just run it and get all the value. That's what's up. Plus, secretly, I'm trying to make GRC socially acceptable. So by having a tech demo like the cool red teamers and blue teamers have, I feel like makes us a little bit more socially acceptable and a little bit cooler. So let's take a look at what this tool actually looks like and how you can use it. I do have the tool on GitHub. You can see it right here and I'll drop a link in the in the description below, but it's GRC Assist under my Jerry Guy 311 page. Now, I wanna show you the actual source code of the Python file. It's all here, you'll be able to see it. But you can see here, it uses really common things. I've tested this on Python 3. So version 3 is confirmed as working and it's pretty straightforward. I'll allow you to look at this, but say you have no programming skills and you're like, Jerry, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. What am I supposed to do? All right, so here's what I'm gonna show you to do. You basically go get clone, right? And then on the GitHub repo, you go right here and copy the repo and I'm gonna pull it down, all right? Now I'm gonna go into GRC Assist and you can see I've got the files right there. Now, let me explain to you what these files are, okay? First of all, GRC data, this is your output. This is your, your knowledge base. And I've written the program to basically append to the file. You can see there's date, right? So you know what day you pulled the query, keywords that you used on the query, and then the actual title of the news story, description of the news story, most importantly, a URL so you can go find that. So if you're doing just in time, you can run this and it'll return like, you know, seven or eight, 10 results. And you'll have current stories that happened just a couple days ago. You can see here the CrowdStrike story was recent and that's quite a mess. Uh, so you can do that or because it's going to be a pending, um, you can slowly start building up a repository and a huge knowledge base of relevant cyber stories to you. So this is the GRC data directory. Now, the other one I want to point out is keywords. Now, the keywords is specific to you, and it's just a simple CSV file showing the keywords that I use. For this demonstration, I've just done cybersecurity healthcare, you know, for that industry and cybersecurity regulations. I don't know if it's necessary, but I do want to point out that for each row, if you want to have multiple keywords for that query, you do have to use a percentage 20, which is basically, I think it's Unicode, but it's basically a white space because this is going to get pushed to a URL. I didn't want any issues. So just use the percent 20 in between uh, keywords that you want to use. Every row in the CSV file is basically going to be a separate query. So you can see here, healthcare and regulations. If we go back to the spreadsheet, you can see here are all the healthcare options. And then it starts doing the regulation ones, right? So I would caution you to be careful with how many elements you put in the keywords directory uh, because you're going to get that many more results, which is not terrible, but you, you could use your API up a bit. Now, speaking of the API, before we get into, well, here, let me do the GRC assist.py file as well. So you can see here, here's all the code. And the key thing is there's some instructions here on how to use it, you know, who it's for and everything, but you will need this API key. And let me see if I can show you. This is a little bit of a cleaner way to kind of look at uh, the code. So I, I recommend you, you open it up in uh, a text editor with IntelliSense so you can see the keywords lit up differently. It looks a little cleaner. But basically, all the instructions are here. You will need to register that API key. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is newsdata.io. You can see here, newsdata.io. You only get access to the breaking news API, you can see we're using the free tier right here, which happens to be 0, 90, uh, zero <laughs> bucks a month, which is great. Note the API credits, you get 200 per day and 10 credits per article. All right, so I would recommend you maybe even set this up as an automated task and do it once a day, kind of build that repository up. But 200 a day, I think this is basically 20 articles if I do the math right, seems pretty good. You only get the latest news API. They have other uh, APIs, but honestly, we're trying to get latest, greatest breaking news. 12 hour delay is fine as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're not trying to do threat intelligence here, so that's fine. Um, but just be mindful, you should be able to do it for $0 and it is going to uh, have a limit per day. So once you get um, in there, you'll have to update the program with your API key, right? So inside, you can see right here, inside the Python script, API key here, just go ahead and copy and paste that once you've generated one through 
newsdata.io, which basically you just create an account and then when you go to your account, you just go to API and you'll see that they right here, I'm not gonna click on it because it would show it on screen, but like basically right here, this API key, that's where you'll see yours. And you can see that I've got the free tier going, right? Obviously free tier going. So you can see here, um, this is what it looks like when you've got uh, your credits used. So I've used 30 credits and it gives me a little bit of information. So let's see what it looks like, okay? So once you're in here, um, just so you know, I'm on Python version three. So you will need version three for this to work. I've downloaded it directly to my machine. I've confirmed that the keywords are the ones I want. And it literally, it's just as simple as running Python GRC assist dot PY and hitting enter. And there you go. Now it does say no articles found for cybersecurity regulations. Uh, no articles found for, oh, it's because I haven't put my API key in. What an absolute donkey. So if you're getting these results, it's because you don't have an API key and you will need to edit that. So I'm gonna do that really quickly uh, and we're just gonna jump ahead. Okay, now I've got my API key in. Let's run it again and see what happens. Okay, you can see there, it actually returned all the results. And you can see, I have them dumped to the screen so you can just confirm that it worked correctly, but it also wrote it to that GRC data file. Now, I'm not sure if it wrote it because I've got the file open. Yeah, I have the file open right now, so make sure you don't have the file open, but you get the idea. And that basically is it, right? This script will help you stay informed about the ever-evolving cybersecurity landscape. It'll save you time. It'll save you effort in the process. It'll make you, you know, basically deliver greater, more professional type information because no matter what the situation calls for, you're going to have a relevant case study to drop on that. Now, don't waste a minute doing any of this manually. Go download the script, give it a shot for yourself. I mean, it's literally on my GitHub. And again, I love tech demos, I love GRC, and trying to make a GRC tech demo, I think is pretty cool. Uh, go check it out. Thanks for watching so much. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to Simply Cyber if you wanna come hang out. It's all about good times. I'm Jerry, see you in the next one.